Hey guys, Reviews for Life here. This is a mechanical blue switch, which normally goes into mechanical keyboards, much like this one. Now, what's unique about it is that this switch has a distinct click whenever it is pressed. I'll put this up closer to the microphone. Now, you've probably seen this GIF or some variation of it somewhere on the internet. And this shows exactly how the switch works. But these generic write-ups don't actually tell you how the click sound is produced. At first glance, it seems pretty obvious. When the blue stem is pressed, the white collar gets pushed down, and then after the actuation, gravity takes over and pulls the collar to the bottom. The click is most likely produced when the collar hits the bottom, and that's it. End of story, right? Well, kind of until you try pressing the switch upside down. Hear that? There's still a click. So obviously gravity doesn't work upside down, unless if you're in Australia. So what's making that noise? Now it's getting curious. Just to make sure I didn't get a defect, I tested this with an entire keyboard upside down. And you can still hear every single click. So this is when I decided to get a blue switch with a clear case, just to see it in action. We see that the white piece falls down when I press it, and then falls up when it's upside down. All right, now we're getting to something interesting. So we got to disassemble this thing, and here are the parts. We have a clear upper housing, the blue stem with a white collar, a spring, and the bottom housing. This bottom housing actually contains a leaf spring, which closes the connection when the stem is depressed. Here's what happens when you press down on the stem. It first closes the gap between the collar and the plunger. Then as you press down further, the collar slides down and releases the leaf spring. This then makes contact with the copper plate and closes the connection. When we flip the switch upside down, the same applies. But it's not actually gravity that pushes the white collar down. It's the leaf spring. And this is pretty easy to see. Now back to the original question. If it's not the white collar that causes the click, then what is? Well, if we take a closer look at the stem, this time without the spring, we can hear that there is a click. Even though the color never touches the bottom of the casing. Taking a look around, we see that the sound is actually caused by the leaf spring hitting the copper contact in the middle of the casing. Let's see this in slow motion. Who would have thought? I'm a little bit upset that I didn't realize this until almost 10 years after I initially saw this GIF. Ah, <sighs> well, lessons learned. That's it from me. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.